Hey guys, Paul Inventor 3 here. Uh, man, this project is still really getting exciting. Um, Alright, so today um, we're going to be doing some tests. I'll do some tests here. Uh, I'm waiting on a scope. I should have that today. Uh, nice new scope. I want to thank you guys, first of all, for all the great comments, all the great support. I love you guys. Thank you. So, very, very much. Uh, means everything to me. Alright, welcome back. You guys ready for this? Same amount of LEDs, okay? I've grouped them all nice together now so you could see now you got to remember these guys uh, these are jumbo LEDs um, they have a narrow viewing angle uh, no they're not blinding okay uh, but you got to remember in uh, lamps and a lot of light fixtures a lot of uh, flashlights uh, they have reflectors behind them okay you know I got some dark cardboard behind mine you know like uh, for example here uh, where is it uh, you know here's a lamp you know but you could see you know they got these reflective you know mirrors on the bottom on the top and you know all round angles around them I think they're using the same LEDs that I have too but anyhow oops I almost tripped <laughs> anyhow I've got things running even more efficiently I only have one two three four coils now okay uh, and uh, same yeah <laughs> all right let's see uh, there we go there's our frequency there's our voltage we're only at 14 volts right now. Okay, let me put it up to 16 where our last video was at. I made things more efficient here. All right, 14. Uh, I can't film this and this at the same time. So one click at a time. Here's 14. I'm going to click up to 15 and then 16. Okay. 15. 16 there we go guys okay oh that one's yeah there we go <laughs> and I got all the lights on in here too you know it's it's uh yeah over 700 LEDs okay so uh you know I'm not claiming anything here uh, I'm claiming uh, nothing. So uh, I have. Uh, I'm going to show a link below. Uh, this company, NUI Foundation, beautiful company. I've been talking back and forth that, with them a little bit, and. They seem like really great people, very, very experienced in these, this area. And uh, they're going to help me out. Uh, we got to take some uh, power readings in that now. Well, now I've got them even brighter. And actually, I got one other thing to adjust yet. But anyhow, let's get a shot of that in the dark here. Hang on. Yeah, wow, that's uh, that looks really nice. Like <laughs> I said, it's like Christmas. I really should have used some different LEDs in here, but these are like original Radio Shack ones that I had originally, and I had a bunch of them, and I ordered some more from somebody who happened to have the same thing. I shouldn't have went with those because they're narrow. You know, these you could see. You know, I can move the camera all around. You can see them. But these, you know, but still. There you go, guys. 
710 LEDs. Uh, well, I am actually counting an Aframenco plug there. Oh my god. And uh, an Aframenco plug right there. Otherwise, it's 708. But geez, Aframenco plugs, I could add tens of thousands of them on here and they'd all still be lit too. You know, and that's a whole nother concept, guys. So there it is, man. 16. Even with the lights on, with the lights out, they look pretty dang good. Anyhow, uh, like I said, and. NUI Foundation will be helping me out and they, uh, they've already suggested what equipment I need and yeah we'll be going on and uh, doing some testing here and see what's going on because you know, from my experiments so far I could just easily keep amplifying this output very easily okay before I proceed with some other test I wanna just show you this real quick just to give so it's on record here but I got the uh, out the the input to my uh, frequency generator here I got a kilowatt meter now there's my extension cord I would normally have it plugged into so um, this really isn't important right now because what we want to know is the output of our frequency generator but yes this will be for later uh, and so we know okay that's a voltage uh, here's the amps point zero eight there's watts 5.5 watts there's, uh, volt amps 10.7 uh, there's uh, Hertz 60 Hertz and what's under that uh, power factor 0.5152 okay okay so for the first test let's uh I got some fuses in here little fuse holders okay here's the output and let's see the positive red wire comes right here to the coil and I'm gonna put one fuse right there and the negative black one goes over here and I'm gonna put one fuse right in there okay now these are the fuses that are in there it's a tenth of an amp uh, 0.1 amp uh, 100 milliamp they're like a like a hair <laughs> filament inside there <laughs> Okay, so let's see what happens with that. Woohoo! <laughs> this all right, we're gonna get back to our test with the fuses in one second. It just came in the mail. There it is. One of the best beginner type uh, oscilloscopes. Many good functions, math functions, everything does it all auto. Anyhow, guys, we will be doing testing. <laughs> okay. But yeah, let's get back to the fuses. Hang on one second. Okay. Uh, like I said, they're not as bright as I could normally get them right now. But, let's see. As I put these in here. Whoops. There we go. And let's get that one over here. Okay. They are dimmer absolutely dimmer um, okay but they're still lit uh, let's see what I'm gonna do here amplitude 
and this only goes up to 20 volts but still um, 17, 18, 19, 20. And that would definitely be as probably as bright as I had it with the 16 volts. Um, it's very bright in here right now. But yeah, I wish I can crank it up more. But you know, there's 20 volts. But I had them that bright at 16 volts without the fuses. So I think that's proof right there that, you know, we're not putting out more than 100 milliamps. I think it's much less, but we will see. Okay, for the next test here, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to put uh, my voltmeter here across just 10, just 10 of these LEDs here, okay? Yes, these are lit too. Uh, put my positive right there, my negative right there. Well, let's do it right now. Now, they're going to go out. This is very common because your meter in there is going to change my resonant frequency. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to go over here. Let's see now. We're at 1.4. Yeah, this should drop it down. We're going to go down uh, 10 kilohertz uh, at a time. There they go. Brighter, brighter. That's pretty good right there. Okay. Um, so let's see, we got 13 volts. Not much. Now hold on a second here. Now see that? It's... Now another thing is if I actually move this away, from... it goes a little higher. Okay, so we actually have more voltage across there, but 14. Uh, for right now, let me... Just move that back out, the 14 down. All right, anyhow. Uh, now we have to retune this after doing that, right. Now my point is, let's get this, this, that's about the brightest right there, okay? 13, now it's hard to see in one shot here. Okay, now I'm gonna go down, I'm at 1.370 megahertz now and I'm gonna go down 360 and 350 here I want you to see what happens here okay lights get dimmer but now notice we got 14 volts well they're almost out now but they're not always brightest with the most voltage so yeah maybe we're switching off between uh, more you know less voltage and more current uh, again let me move that over there that's better that's across 10 LEDs yeah let me let me see if I could check voltage across those real quick or not I'll be right back all right, this is interesting. Uh, I connected right across this patch because this is an even 50 LEDs here. You can see all the other ones are lit. Everything's up here is still lit. Um, now there you see we have 105 volts. You know, there's two volts each, and actually these are dimmer than all the other ones right now we're sucking some energy out of these 50 they're not as bright as all the other LEDs but still that's that is now two volts each right there and we got what a 468 here
thanks for watching guys we'll be back real soon with uh, some more detailed tests with our nice new oscilloscope so we'll see you next time